Hi San Antonio, Erica here with Stylish TV, your online fashion network. And I'm here today at Sanford Brown to bring you an incredible story, one that we will be following for months, possibly years to come. Um, but it's something that we have to share with you because it is fashion news and that's who we are, so stay tuned. So I am here with two students of Sanford Brown, uh, the lovely Miss Grace Herrera and Simi Linscombe. And they are two students that are being very brave and they're fighting to keep the school alive. Uh, maybe you have heard in the news that they do have plans to close the school and um, they want to keep uh, the determination, the ambition alive within the students and let them know, as Stylish believes in, that you do not have to leave the city of San Antonio to succeed if you are in any form of the arts um, industry, whether it's fashion, music, graphics, IT, it's here, the city is growing, so so many jobs are opening up for people who want to still live here and succeed. Um, so to tell you about their story and what their plans are, uh, we're gonna talk to them a little bit about it. And so uh, we'll start with Grace. Grace, do you wanna briefly tell them uh, what your plan is and what you're setting out to do, this mission of yours? Yes, definitely. Um, well, when I first heard about Sanford Brown closing, I was very nervous and disappointed. I mean, this is a really great school. I've gotten so much experience being here and that's what I love. This is one of the schools where you really get hands-on with your work and once I found out it was closing, I wanted to find a way to continue keeping it going and I run into Simeona and she's been working with the ambassador program from the city of San Antonio and she had great ideas about you know, maintaining a new school, you know, from Sanford Brown. Changing the name, but keeping our school together. And I jumped on board at the thought and told her, you know, hey, we can try out different showcases to do to kind of get buzz about the talent that our students have. That way we can have someone who's interested in investing in our students and in our school to keep it open, to keep these talents going. And I mean, we, we have a lot of really good work that's being that's going to be shown at the showcase. So, um, well, that's incredible. Uh, I completely believe in what you are doing. I myself, for those of you who don't know, am an alumni from Sanford Brown back when it was the International Academy of Design and Technology. Um, and I am living proof that they are amazing instructors here, um, students here. You really bond with them and create a family. Um, so I know where your heart is coming from. Uh, Cindy, do you want to tell me a little bit about your role? So she said you're ambassador with the city. Um, so you want to tell me a little bit about or tell San Antonio? My name is Simeona Lipscomb and I recently was um, selected to be one of the interns for the ambassador program through the city and I really wanted to help my school out. Now when they told us that we were having teach out and I couldn't help the admissions, and there was no enrollment, I just really wanted to support our current students now, give them scholarship opportunities, and give them a way to promote their art and their, their work. Oh. Well, uh, that is amazing, and I'm really glad to see that y'all two are setting out um, for this mission, as I said. So the show. So we're going to be following your progress. Um, San Antonio will have to stay tuned for that, but they're creating an amazing show that's going to bring together all students from the fashion program, the IT program, um, the graphics programs that they have here. Um, so why don't you tell them a little bit about what the show is, where it's going to be, what it's going to entail? Uh, well, we are doing an Urban Street Showcase at One Drop Reggae Shop and Juice Bar off of 410 and Broadway. And basically, it's going to be a giant art gallery mixed with a fashion show, um, you know, networking as well. We're going to have, you know, digital art being showcased as well. And you get a chance to shop the booths that are being, you know, displayed there at the showcase. So there's lots of different ways um, our attendees can get involved as well. We'll be having demonstrations done. So it's going to be a hands-on experience not only for our students, our, our participants, but for the attendees as well. And we want to get really active in the community and there are going to be live performances. And this is really not just for our students, but for all of San Antonio. Yes, because they could be future students. Absolutely. Um, well, if y'all just want to let San Antonio know where they can find you on social media to kind of keep tabs on you up until then. And also, when is the show? What's the date of the show? The 
date right now that we have is September 4th. It's going to be on a Friday before Labor Day. That's the date that we're going for. So, yeah. And um, you can find us on Facebook under the page Urban Streets Showcase. And it's Urban Streets. You are B A N S T R E E T Z, right? Yes. yes. Okay. Just want to make sure. <laughs> All right. Great. Um, well, San Antonio, stay tuned for that. We're going to be following them, like we said. Um, if you're a supporter of the fashion industry here and also, you know, have a heart or connection to this school and you want to help keep it alive, I suggest you go out here and support, participate, do whatever you do, inquire in how, with them how you can help out. Um, well, San Antonio, that's going to be it for now. Stay tuned, and we'll see you next time. Remember, don't complain, come fancy.